Hey everyone, it's Ryan the War Boss here from Orcs Paint Shop coming at you with another vlog. In today's vlog, I'm going to go over and just basically um, paint some orcs because that's what I am. I'm a war boss, therefore, I need my art boys running around and give me some muscle on the table. So, what I'm going to do is just do my paint scheme right here, as you can see. Nothing crazy, it's just a solid blue, um, you know, some rust for the weaponry, brown, red, white. Just simple stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the colors that I have real quick. So the colors that I use to do this paint scheme that you see here uh, is right in front of me. So I've got corn red from Citadel. I've got light rust from Vallejo. I have another Vallejo color which is dead white. Silver from Vallejo. I have Army Painter's Goblin Green for the flesh. And then I use Magic Blue for the armor. Um, and that's basically all I use for the colors. And then obviously I've painted the bases brown, so just any standard brown color will work. And that's what you see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these. All right, so what I'm doing here is going carefully to do the green orc flesh that I'm using Goblin Green for. Um, basically, I'm just banging out all these models real quick, doing the lowest layer. Um, this way here, I don't end up hitting it with any of the higher layers and not have to worry about that. Um, basically, that's all I'm doing. Nothing too crazy here, nothing too special. But it's also step one of uh, painting these guys. So once I get all these guys greened up, I'm going to go ahead and just put them to the left, finish them up, and get ready to do the blue. Okay, so now time to do the blue armor. So this is a little more crazy. Um, I went ahead and did a few of these guys already. But basically, I gotta get all around, you know, where I did some of the green, some of the details. Gotta go ahead and make sure I get the blue here and uh, not go over any of the pieces I did. You can be a little sloppy with this if you touch something that doesn't like chain mail or the brown for his pants, not too worried. But I like to get a nice, you know, smooth coat on it nothing too crazy and just make it work you know I go and I do their full hands and the gauntlets the chest pieces the helms as you can see in the photos too I do their shields and make sure that every single bit of them is covered in the right way um, obviously some of the shield detail is a little more unique um, and I try to make sure that as I paint these and, and, and do them up that I get all the blue so I don't have to go back and redo any of it. Um, obviously I'm careful when I go over the next parts to do that which um, in this you can also see that I'm about to do uh, the metal comes next which is silver but I do that in the detailing part as well as I do like the red which is um, for their skulls and, and things like that on their uniforms. I'll go and I'll make the slashes shine silver a little bit you know where they've gotten hit on the armor um, give it a little highlight detail and then I'll give it a wash um, which I'll go over more of that in a second but yeah so basically that's what I do
So now I do the flat brown, which is, you know, the leather, um, their belts, the sh you know, the scabbards for the swords, um, anything that looks like a handle that they're holding outside of the gloves. Go ahead and bang that out. Again, trying very careful not to go over the blue or the green that I've already done. Um, just one last thing I gotta worry about by not going over. Um, that's basically what I do here. Okay, now I'm doing the detail. So here's where I'm doing those red skulls, as you can see. And I'm doing the silver as well. As you can see, I'm doing more of the silver and white. Um, I'm just kind of hitting them as quick as I can. Just doing these five to highlight. As you can see, now I'm doing the chain mail. Uh, I'm just making it look really nice, trying not to hit the blue. And as you can see, it really pops on the miniature here. As well as I'll go and I'll do things like, um, like I said, the the slices in his hands or his arm, little knobs for the weapons, and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if I got the video for this, uh, but I think I did some of the um, metal and rust for the weapons. As you can see here, actually, I am doing the, the highlights for it. And shortly further down in the video, you'll see me go over and hit the weapon with the rust color as well, which is basically how I like to do my weapons. Um, and the reason I like doing that way is because it gives him more of a pop and it makes him more unique. Because, you know, an orc isn't going to go and smith a weapon. He's going to basically kill somebody with it, leave it out in the rain, let it rust, and then beat it together so it works. You know, that's how an orc is. He just wants to rip things apart and cut people down. Um, and that's basically what it is. As you can see, I also make sure I do the bone. Um, and I have all my paints available if I need them. This way here, if I accidentally go over anything, I can uh, just go back down. As you can't see in this video, but I am using a wet palette to make sure that I have wet blending going on, as well as, you know, it available and stay nice and, and fresh for any of the mistakes I might make. Trying not to use too much water so it doesn't soup around on them and mess up any of the other parts of the work. As you can see, basically, I go about just, you know, taking care of it and doing things along those lines. And once I'm ready, I start doing more of the detail.
Alrighty, thank you for watching this video. These are my orcs. I'll throw some video footage up of them or some pictures so that you can see them and check them out. But as you can see, they came out pretty nice. I went ahead and I got them based. Um, you'll see that when you get there. Uh, and that's basically how you paint an orc, or at least how I do it. Um, so once again, this is Ryan, the War Boss from Orcs Paint Shop thing. If you want, give my video a like and subscribe down below. Have a good one. Go ahead. And